XFL star receiver Cam Phillips tries out for, guess who, the Carolina Panthers. One of the biggest snubs so far this offseason has been the lack of attention directed at former Roughnecks wide receiver Cam Phillips, Hokie. He was Ho- Virginia Tech Hokies. He was the XFL's leading receiver with 31 catches for 455 yards and nine touchdowns in just five games. That's about an average of six receptions, 91 yards, and two TDs per each week. Absolutely monstrous production, but he's been waiting for a call, NFL call for months. He reportedly received interest from the Dolphins and Bengals back in March, but nothing ever materialized. Now, his former XFL quarterback, P.J. Walker, has likely vouched for him as Phillip is, work, is working out with the Carolina Panthers. Walker was the head coach, Matt Rule's star player back in their college days at Temple, and the first-year coach is making a great move bringing P.J. Walker's target to compete. With the Panthers. It's from Field Yates. He says the Panthers hosted are trying out wide receiver Cam Phillips, a star in the recent XFL. Uh, could he join PJ Walker? To describe Walker and Phillips' connection is uncanny, as that would be a vast disservice to both of them. They are simply next level when they got together on the field, and it was always a lot of fun. Now we'll see if Cam Phillips actually makes the roster. He previously paid for the Buffalo Bills, but his rough next game that's what he made a name for himself but in carolina he'll have to fight for targets behind dj moore robbie anderson curtis samuel that's three good receivers on your fantasy team right there just as pj is trying to gun the qb top spot from teddy bridgewater so we'll see what happens we'll see if teddy gets the qb nod we'll see if cam phillips makes the team Some other player transaction news. Renegades tackle Pace Murphy signs with the Cowboys this past week. L.A. Wildcats wide receiver Seed Blacknall was cut by the Steelers. He was one of a bunch of Steelers that got cut. Blacknall is one of the nine players to sign with Pittsburgh. Now only four remain. Kavon Walker, Jaron Jones, Anthony Coyle, and John Canoy are still with the team. The Cleveland Browns signed Tampa Bay Vipers defensive tackle Ricky Walker. You might remember him as the whole thing getting ejected in a little scrum against the New York Guardians. He was the first player basically ejected in the XFL 2.0 era. The New York Jets cut St. Louis Battle Hawks tight end Connor Davis. What's interesting about this is on August 16th, the Jets signed the Battle Hawks tight end. And then on August 23rd, they cut him. And then they signed back the guy that they originally cut or something like that. But that t- such is the life of an NFL player, most NFL players. The one That's the side of things you don't hear about. Finally, St. Louis Battlehawks defensive end Will Clark, he signs with the Detroit Lions. So those are your roster transactions going on this week. Former XFL, maybe they'll be back, NFL players. We'll see if they land with the rosters.